Even before we are born, there are factors that can influence our health and well-being. The conditions in which we are born, grow, live, work and age can affect our health in different ways. When we think about our health, it's important to think about it in the most holistic sense. It is physical, mental, emotional, social, environmental and even spiritual. Health is complex and personal. It changes with experience and throughout the stages of our life. Addressing health issues can be largely out of our individual control. Some health problems such as type 2 diabetes, obesity, alcohol dependence or anxiety are often linked to a person's social circumstance. Unemployment, poverty, trauma, poor housing and discrimination increase the risk of experiencing ill health. When we think about our health and well-being, we need to consider the root causes of ill health and understand the social factors at play. Issues such as money and income, employment conditions, housing, education, social networks and access to healthcare can negatively impact on our mental and physical health and life expectancy. These social, economic and environmental conditions are known as the social determinants of health. Health inequalities are the unfair and avoidable differences in the health of people in our society. They do not occur randomly. These inequalities are the result of imbalances of power, wealth and resources. They are influenced by the social determinants of health which affect our ability to access experiences and services that can contribute to better health and well-being. Imagine two men sitting on the Metro 8 bus line in Belfast. One lives near the congested city centre. His life expectancy is 72 years. The second man on the bus lives in the leafy suburbs of South Belfast. His life expectancy is 80 years. There is less than five miles between them, and yet we see an eight-year difference in life expectancy. As you can see, Northern Ireland has some significant regional health inequality gaps, with major differences in health outcomes, even within small geographical areas. These differences in life expectancy are caused by the social, economic and environmental conditions in which they live, and are unfair and avoidable. Governments, policymakers and communities can work together to take action across the social determinants to improve health and well-being and end health inequalities.